Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back. Welcome back to Let's Survive Fallout 4. I am Shadow Dragonic, and let's continue with the rest of the game. Um, we can make our way down to the Museum of Freedom now, I believe it's called. And help out those, uh, those trapped people. Who are supposedly trapped inside by raiders. So we will do that. and into the Museum of Freedom. Take you out. Where's that other guy at? There he is. Oh, that was a nice shot. Only a 34% chance to hit, but you made it, my friend. You made it. And I should be able to pick this gate. I think it's advanced. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this gate. Or not. There we go. That's it. Now I'm going to be careful because there is a guy. Yep, he's over here. I think he's in this room. I'm going to toss a grenade in there. There's a guy in there with a shotgun. Who's out there? That missed. That's alright. We got him. Wasted a grenade, but oh well. I do believe I'm, pi I'm missing a piece of armor yet. I think it's... Right, I'm missing a left arm yet. Take that duct tape. Lots of 10 millimeter rounds there. Now I said in a, in a uh, earlier video about fusion cores and how they weigh a lot and I probably won't be taking many. This right here is a fusion core. I'm going to have to take this one because it's part of the main story also gonna hack this terminal here just because uh, I want the extra experience yes I know how to hack thank you okay so two like towns um let's see could be times. Yes. yes, it was. Uh, what am I stuck on? More duct tape. Alright, we can start heading upstairs now. Anything over here worth taking? Uh, yeah, there's some stuff. 38 round, buff out, shotgun shells. Take that desk fan.
Ooh, military grade duct tape and free war money. And cap stash. Thirty-eight. All right. Now, if I'm right, there are two guys in here. Yep. See if I can't take both these guys out with a grenade. Think you can hide? There we go. And that was my last frag grenade, so I'm going to have to switch to my Molotov cocktails. There's a leather right arm. That'll replace my um, Raider right arm. So I can drop that. And up to the next level. I'm coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal. You hear that? Now, I'm gonna rush down to this end of the hall. Because these guys can be a bit of a pain. Not too worried about that guy, because he's only got a melee weapon. just need a left arm. Short pipe bolt action rifle. I believe that is a 308 rifle. Yes it is. So that is a truer sniper rifle. Um, most sniper rifles do actually use the 308 rounds. The one that I'm using right now is using a 38, which is actually a pistol round. So it is a sniper rifle because it's long range, but it's not the proper caliber for a sniper rifle. Well, I'll take that microscope. Nice. More caps. More duct tape, turpentine, lighter, and that looks to be about it. Now we can go talk to the trap settlers. Still no left arm. And we'll talk to Preston Garvey. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess Maybe. here. <sighs> nope. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Well, that's good. Let's hear it. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Not sure what's going on with the, um... Not 
Not sure what's going on with the um, dialogue here. Give me a minute. See if maybe that fixes it. It doesn't seem to. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. And this is where the fusion core that we picked up comes into play. I'm really not sure what's going on with the uh, subtitles here. Bit of a, a glitch going on. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that mini Seems to be messed up between Preston Garvey's and Sturge's uh, dialogue, for whatever reason. Hopefully it was just a little glitch there, just with that conversation. Hopefully it doesn't continue. Um, first, I'm going to grab this, Rob Coupon magazine, which... Um, I guess it doesn't give any bonus, it just uh, includes Atomic Command Hollow Tape, which is a little mini game that you can play in here. Careful. And also grab this Perception Bobblehead, which will permanently increase my perception by one point, which is nice. And now we can head up onto the roof. Make sure there's nothing else here. Nope, nope. Now, like he said, uh, we're going to get a suit of power armor. However, I'm not going to use it right away. And I'm going to save the minigun for one enemy in particular. Anybody that's played the game before knows what enemy I'm going to be saving the minigun for. going to trip no I don't want to sit that get up you don't need to sit down I'm gonna try and pick off as many uh, enemies as I can using just my sniper rifle and that's the power armor up here boss we got somebody up here you got this You get down here. Let you and my friends have a little time. Get away, asshole. Yeah. Opening fire. <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. He managed to jump over, but as he was jumping over, he died.
Need some water, and also need some food. So let's eat some big bloat fly and some grilled red roach. Tasty. I'm still in caution, so there are still enemies around. Wait, something's out there. Opening fire. There we go, finally. Oh, and here comes what most people fear at this part. And there he is, ripping people apart. That is a death claw. Probably one of the most feared creatures in the Commonwealth, or any Fallout game for that matter. So now we can go ahead and get inside the power armor. Now the power armor is, wow, the power armor is pretty powerful, it gives you a lot of extra defense, um, as well as the ability to not take any kind of fall damage whatsoever, regardless of how far you fall from. Um, however, when you're wearing it, you cannot sleep, you cannot use any kind of workbenches, or anything of that sort. So it has its limitations. Now let's get down here and... Take out this death claw. As soon as I can find him. Although I'm not sure. Not sure exactly where the death claw is gone. Which is a little worrying. There he is. Ah, he's crippled now. Bad luck for him. Wasn't so much of a challenge that time. wondering if that massive explosion crippled him because his health was pretty low when I got down here okay there's a the left arm that's what I need now I'm gonna take as much well it doesn't really look like there is that much But I'm going to take as much leather stuff as I can. Take that assault gas mask. Yep, take all that stuff. I'm going to break all the extra leather pieces down. And just get regular leather out of it so I can upgrade my armor pieces later. Ooh, a boiled 
leather chest piece. Don't I already have a boiled leather? I already have a boiled leather chest piece, I believe. Yes, I do. So now I have two. Alright, now we can go back in here and let these guys know that it's clear. Talk to them and then they will head to Sanctuary. And start a settlement there. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? Fine, fine, Preston. Quit fussing. <clears throat> that was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. Now, hopefully, hopefully the subtitles work this time around. Feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen. When we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. Sure. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, However, I'm not going to follow them back wonderful. to Sanctuary Hills. Um, not yet, anyway. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. And this is Mama Murphy. She is basically the drug-induced, um, psychic, if you will. Please, tell me. I need to know. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I... I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. A great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. And that is our next target. Um, which is Diamond City. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. Okay, we can leave now. Um, Diamond City is the largest city in the Commonwealth. So, that's where your market is. That's where uh, a lot of other stuff is. But it is the largest city in Fallout 4. But we can go ahead, I'm going to head back to the Red Rock gas station and drop off all this stuff. Um, that death claw, by the way, he broke through here, which you can go down here and it will take you to a cistern, I believe, or civic, same difference. It's basically a sewer system. Um, you can go down there. There are mole rats and some decent stuff to pick up as well as a mire lurk. Which is pretty deadly at this point in the game. Not that Deathclaw isn't, but, um, yeah. But I believe there's a magazine down there that you can get. Uh, I think it's only a, a Taboo Taboo, uh, Taboo Tattoos magazine, which is just something that unlocks uh, a facial tattoo of some sort that you can have put on your character later at a facial reconstruction center. I'm not really too fussed about it. May go down there at some point, but. All right, so let's drop off our stuff. Let's start by dropping off the power armor. Go over here and drop all of our junk off. We can go here, 
drop, 308 rounds, the 45 rounds, the 5 millimeter rounds. The nice thing about that death call, um, taking all that damage prior to me even getting there, I have a lot of 5 millimeter rounds left over. Normally, normally with that fight, um, you know, you come out with maybe if you're lucky, 400 rounds. So the fact that I came out with 1100 rounds is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and drop the minigun. I will drop that rifle for now. Um, I don't have very many 308 rounds, so it's pretty pointless. Drop the fusion cells, the shotgun shells. Let's go out here then. We can cook that deathclaw steak. We can also use this armor workstation, and nice, that'll give two leather, two cloth. Get rid of all this extra stuff, just for the leather, for upgrading purposes. We can equip that, and the assault gas mask as well, which is just basic headgear. Pretty cool looking though. I like the assault gas mask. I'm not going to upgrade my armor yet because I'm more worried about my weapons right now. I've only got two screws, so I'm just going to go ahead and give my pistol the sharpshooter group. And that'll be it for upgrades for now anyway. Uh, what else can I drop off here real quick? Oh, right. I forgot to move that stuff earlier. Take that stuff back and put it in the right the right box. Don't need that. I can drop the death claw stick, the glowing fungus, the melon, Nuka Cherry, Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola Quantum, pork and beans, razor grain, Sugar bombs. We'll keep the ribeye steak for now. Alright, let me go here. Put those fragments, the short laser musket. We'll put that 10 millimeter uh, standard grip in there as well. And that'll do it for that stuff. We can go ahead and get ourselves another decent eight hours of sleep so we're properly rested. There we go. I'm parched, so let's drink some water. And we're good to go. Um, going to cut the episode here, seeing as it's been about a half hour. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. Uh, if you enjoy my Let's Plays, uh, you know, please give me a subscribe. If not, um, you know, I really don't care. I'm just doing this for fun, and I enjoy what I'm doing. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Later.